today's video does not end until someone scores 100 points in a game. It has been 61 years since Will Chamberlain dropped his 100 points, and nobody has come within 19, 19 points of it. Shout out to Kobe. May he rest in peace. But today, that will change. Now, I'm not naive. I'm not stupid. I know if we just did a normal simulation, nobody in 2K is dropping 100 points. But that's when... I get to make some changes because at the beginning of every single year, I get to change one thing about the league to get us closer to the point where someone is dropping 100. I got, I got a list of stuff. <laughs> I got a list of stuff. A combination of these things, 100%. Somebody is going to be dropping 100. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below the player you think is most likely to get that 100. Damon Donald Mitchell did get 71 last season. Maybe those are the dudes we targeting. I don't know. Year number one is going to go exactly the way you expect. This is our control year. We will not change any stats or anything. But year number two is when I get to make my first change. Year number one, the most amount of points put up in a single game was 59. Obviously, not 100. So we move. Jimmy Butler in Minnesota is getting them a potential championship. Uh, he does it. Wow, Jimmy. Shout out to you, man. He, he, he did it. He did it. He did it. All right. So now the first change I'm going to do to get us closer to dropping 100 in the game is it's changing the shot clock rule. We're gonna decrease the shot clock to 20. Now that may not seem like a lot, but that's extra possessions every game. Extra possessions means higher point score. It's not a dramatic difference, but again, it's baby, baby steps. We're gonna see somebody put up more than 59 points in a single game this season. Book it. The scores will be slightly higher. These are all just different things to be added. This is just our first year. I got other things. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Them boys put up 170 points. Can we, can we pause 2K? Can we, can we do something? They put up 170 points. Whoa, this a rook? Eighth overall pick came into his NBA career and he spazzed in 19 minutes. Well, um, that had nothing to do with Luka Doncic and Tyler Hero who both have 40 apiece. So yeah, undoubtedly year two is going to be better. It's not going to be 100, but it's going to be better. Oh, you, 66 points for a 77-year-old LeBron. He even had a 43. That was opening night or one of the opening nights uh, for him. I don't even know what team he plays for, but we, we can go look at that real quick. Yes, this game right here, 66 points on 43 shots. Sheesh. Um, either way, uh, they end up losing. And we did see somebody drop more points, but hey, still not 100. So I, I got to figure out what the, what the next thing to do is. I'm right average 40, 41, though. How, how do you average 41 but didn't drop over 60? Or maybe he did, and I just, okay, he did drop a 62 piece. But he averaged 41. So 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 that's all uh, dandy. So we're getting closer and closer to that type of stuff. We're getting some crazy numbers, 41 points for John Murray and 13 assists. I don't understand it. <laughs> Just how do you drop 40 in a game, but also pass the ball enough to average 13 assists? Jimmy Butler is back, but he can't do it back to back. It's Evan Mobley's time. All right. LeBron, you just dropped 60. I can't let you go. Okay. 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 I don't think the next thing I do has anything to do with um, these things. I'm gonna, I will try to see if there's anything else. Lottery standings, all-star awards, shot clock. Yeah. Lane violations. So none of this stuff is relevant to our challenge today. So the next thing, what did I just approve? Worst draft picks get no, 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 no. So there's this one little place inside the sliders of this game. These are the simulation slider. These sliders determine exactly how the game will be played. So I have to make a decision really quick of which of these sliders do I want to put up first. Higher shot slider means more possessions result in a shot. That makes sense. But I also think that more possessions in general, higher means more possessions in the game so more everything put that to 100 that's the that's the second move to 100 with it to 100 with it this team got two 40 year olds and they're both starting Sheesh. all right first game under the new circumstance oh my god yo if someone doesn't drop at least 75 this season i'm disappointed if someone doesn't drop at least 75 this season i am extremely extremely disappointed bro they just put up 186 in one game. And that might be a low scoring game. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my eye out. I'm gonna keep my eye out and see if there's another game where Braun is doing some crazy stuff. But bro, there's a 190 point game in the first week of the season. The Bulls have just see the, the distribution is too high. How do we have three players drop 35 or more? The distribution is too high. I need one player to say, hey, I'm him. And I'm gonna do him type things. Could that be Ja? 
He's oh Lucas got a 68 point game in the first two weeks. Cool. Okay. Maybe we should be watching Luka Doncic. Uh, oh, maybe we should be watching Shea because he's averaging 40 and 14. We got to get it to like a player like this. One of our other things is maybe we target one singular player. Maybe it is Luka. Maybe it's Wimby because yo. And we say like, man, I'm going to adjust your playmaking statistics so you do not pass the ball, Shea. Every year we get to change one thing. And it doesn't have to be league century. It could be one specific person. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm excited, though. I think we're going to be close. I thought this might take steel 20 years. The way this is going right now, this could be done soon. Shea Gilders Alexander with 71 points. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um... We're getting closer and closer. I got to figure out what the next step is, though. I, I don't want to make the wrong decision. Luka still wins MVP, uh, given all the circumstances. Uh, Anthony Edwards. As a matter of fact, let's look at everybody's stats. Because, yeah, this has been a crazy season, obviously. We had two people average 40. Uh, and a bunch of people average 30. Those dudes that also that average 40 dropped 14 assists per. So, Luka feels like a prime candidate that if we adjust his playmaking so that he's a ball hog... He could easily get there. He could easily... His season high was 68. He could easily get there. Get him to shoot more threes or something. I don't know. I don't know. Jimmy Butler and Minnesota are doing... I don't even... I got to see who's else on, who else is on this team. Is Jimmy Butler, Keegan Murray, Markel Fultz, Cole Anthony, Tari... This team has made it to the finals three years in a row. Jimmy Butler is just a different kind of, kind of leader, I guess. Um, again, there's nothing in here that's worth doing, so we'll get past that. I I'm thinking if I should target a specific player. I again, Shea Gibbs Alexander had the 70 piece, 71. Everybody drops 71 and then forget how to play. Everybody gets the 71 exact. Do we talk to Shea Gibbs Alexander and say, hey, man, I know you love your teammates and all, but how about we change your playmaking tendencies to be lower? Because his shot tendency is already 99. His playmaking tendencies got him to the point where he's averaging 12 assists per game. We He almost shot 40% from three again. Sheesh, this season is crazy. I'm targeting Shea Gilgis Alexander, and what I'm doing is changing his playmaking. That is my, this jersey so clean to me. Oh my God, that jersey's so clean. That's what I'm doing to Shea. His dish to open man is low. His flashy pass is low. His A button, his X button, whatever you want to call it, whatever console he was on, is down. We target Shea to be our guy. So because we just spent our upgrade this year on that, we should focus solely on the Spurs or the Suns. He plays for the Spurs. He plays for the Suns. Focus solely on the Suns. First game against the Portland Trailblazers is a heavy loss where Shea only oh he fouled out he fouled out he fouled out no big deal this game the second game he won't foul <gasps> they score 204 is this the moment that somebody's dropped 100 have we got Kate Cunningham now he's gonna cannibalize what we tried to do oh my god Josh Giddy had a 21 assist game we should probably be looking at assist numbers too because somebody can break that record I guess Scott Skiles count your days my boy Oh, man. Yeah, getting Cade Cunningham. Was he here last year? And I don't know. Let's see. No, no, no. We just wasted our, our upgrade this year because now with Cade being on the team, it just takes away. Cade is coming off the bench. Oh, my God. It takes away Shea's ability to create because he's got so many other people. Was Josh Giddy on this team last year? He had to be, right? Josh Giddy had to be on it. Yeah, he was. Okay. But, yeah, we're not going to get the Shea year. We're not going to get the Shea year. All right, well. That's tragic. There's nothing we could have done to prevent that. So, you know, you, you take your chances. You take your chances. Everybody scores 71 points. And then that's... Wimby scored 71 points. And that, <laughs> and that was it. Nobody can... It's like an invisible wall that's preventing people from dropping over that. Wimby right now plays for the Detroit Pistons. So I, I kind of want to see what that game looked like for him. November 13th is the time... Um, he had nine, I'm sorry, 13 three-pointers. Wow. That's insane from a guy that's 7'4". And they have Larry Market and Jaron Jackson Jr. Are they starting all three together? The answer is yes. Whoa. And then they got Anthony Black, who's, this is the tallest star lineup in basketball. Are you serious? Shout out to them. Are they good? Uh, yes. Playoff team. Playoff team. They might win a championship. That team looks good. When Wimby doing what he's doing and they got the DPOY candidate and all of that stuff. 
John Moran averaged 38. Okay, this was a, a wash year because we spent our assets to get um, Shea there. And Shea didn't even make an All-NBA team. Josh Giddy made it over him. So, you know, we, we have to make the adjustments. I got to figure out what the next thing we want to do. I might go back to that simulation slider and see what else is there. John Moran and company get a championship. Uh, our Minnesota Timberwolves have fallen off a cliff. They were the seventh seed. But three years of greatness is that's, that's good. That's good enough. That's good enough. You don't need more than three years. All right, here we go with the next thing. Um, we want to go back here. So we got the pace meter. Adjust the effect of team pace on the number of possessions in the game. We also got this one. Adjust the frequency. The freak, adjust how frequently players attempt three pointers. To drop 100 points, you need to hit a bunch of threes. That's where I'm prioritizing. I'm prioritizing the three point shot. We just saw Wimby drop 71 and he took 13 made threes to get there. So hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that puts us, I just, how about somebody just drop 72? That's all I want right now. Just somebody to drop 72 points. The first game is a big win for Wimby and company. 24 three-pointers made versus 23, which again is, is pretty good, but uh, I was expecting more. Booker had a 61-point game in the first day of the season, so that's fun. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see how much this matters. Um, I, I just don't know. I feel like the three-point shot in combination to another thing definitely helps, but by itself, maybe not so much. Next year might be the year. Not because of Bones Highland. That, this is a pump fake. Bones Highland didn't do a, a, anything. But Luka Doncic had an 86-point game. He attempted 50 shots. Um, also, the three-point rating doesn't matter because Dame only made 14, and that was the season high for everybody, which was the same in every single year. So... The last thing I put together didn't matter too much, but Luca wins an MVP as he should if he's putting up 43, 11, and 13. Luca is the one that I should have prioritized getting rid of his playmaker. That's our next step. He can get it done 100%. He's got an 80 something point game, and it was the third game of the season. He attempted 50 shots, made 13 threes. I mean, this is one of the greatest games in the history of ball. He's the second highest scorer ever um, right now. As far as a single game, it's just cool. But even with that said, it's not enough. But if I get rid of his old playmaker, could it, because he still averaged double digit assists. How, if we cut those assists in just half for one game, he breaks the record. He does it. So I'm in, that's my thing. Yeah, I could be thinking about something that's more, uh, oh no, we need Steph Curry to stay. We need Kevin Durant to stay. Even though they haven't been close, uh, Jimmy Butler, he's been great. Even though we should probably be thinking about something that's more over encompassing the entire league. Him being so close, 14 points away, makes me think that that is our best case scenario. So, I only can change again one thing, and I kind of realized just now in the moment, I I um I kind of broke that, huh? Because I'm supposed to only be changing one thing, and when I went to Shea, I changed three things technically. That's my bad. It didn't even work. But I can only change one thing, which is the pass to open man, dish to open man. That's what I'm ex accepting. He can still throw a lot, he can still throw a flashy, but the, the idea is that he's gonna throw a lot less of those things. That's the, that's the idea of it all. And Luca could quite possibly break the record for most points in a single game this season. It feels like a lot of the top point getters end up having it done in the first week. I don't know if that's like fatigue base, where if you in game 46, do you got the legs to drop 100? I don't know. He plays for the 76ers, so let's go over to the 76ers and we wanna watch at least this first game unfold. Who's Who else is on this team? It's some other people. Um, let's see. Game one, they win. He's still dropping 11 assists. Game two, they lose. He's still... Oh, boy. All right. If this don't work, th that that's my vow after it failing twice to not focus on a singular player and instead do the over-encompassing stuff Uh Cause yeah, it's not even, it's not even, he hasn't even been, he hasn't even been close to start the year. He hasn't even dropped 50 yet. I need to, I need to lock in. Cause apparently I'm just the worst of all time. Maybe somebody else will do it, but man, I'm done focused on individual players. No way. No way. 71 points from Cam Whitmore. That is the number. I don't, I, I don't understand. Luca wasn't close at 55. I wasted a whole year of simulation. Whatever. I have another idea. We're gonna go back to that simulation tab. And that is going to, I'm not saying this is the year. I think this is the year that's gonna be the closest to getting done. I don't know if this is the exact year, but what I got in mind, I probably should have thought about about four seasons ago, if I'm being honest, uh, it, I should have probably thought about it. Tatum and the Sacramento Kings win another championship, shout out to them. 
Um, yeah, these guys can't retire. Dennis Schroeder, you can't retire, buddy. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what I'm thinking. What did I just approve? Okay, quicker trade deadline. Who cares? We go back to this statistics stuff, this simulation stuff. This might be the one. Adjust how frequently a player make frequent players make three point shots. Not just attempt anymore, but make them. Everybody's percentage should go up. Everybody should benefit from this. That's my. Is that the right call? I don't know. We got. We gonna see. We gonna see. That feels like the right call. And it, I, look, 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 mark my words. Mark my words right here, right now. If that is not what gets us to 100 next year, guaranteed or forfeit. Uh, uh, somebody gets a, a free jersey for me in the comment section. But don't even get to commenting your name and stuff now because. Because I, I feel, oh my God, none of it has changed. I feel pretty good about next year being the year. I feel, oh, wait a minute. Dang, Luca, why? why? Luca's crazy with it. Next year's gonna be the year. Next year's gonna be the year. It's not this one. That's fine, that's fine. I've accepted that, I'll accept that. Next year's the year or forfeit. 71 points. This is, this feels like it's coded in 2K. Everybody's dropping exactly 71. That's not a coincidence. There's no way that's a coincidence. No way it's a coincidence. All right, okay, okay. This is the year. This is the year. And if it's not the year, I'll be giving away a free jersey to somebody in the comment section. So comment down below your X account, Twitter, 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 Twitter. It's called comment down below your Twitter account. Okay, great. The thing that I want to do is there's one more statistic down here called the dist shot distribution higher means the top shooters would take more shots at the expense of the lower players so that mean if you're the number one of your team baby you get all of the looks at least in theory that's what it means in theory that's what it means all we need is one of the top 10 players involved to be on a roster that sucks and boom now would that happen I don't know the landscape of the NBA. I haven't really been keeping up that much because we are um, six, seven years into the future. I have, I have no idea. Let's take a quick look. First game is a loss. 71 points for Keontae George. It's always 71. This has become, I don't even know how to put it to work. This has become something I could never have expected. There's 70, there's 78 from Amin or Amin or Sar. I don't know which one. It, it's A. Thompson. It's, it's one of the Thompsons, all right? Um, but that's the first week of the season. The 78 is the high. You know what? I may have to go look at the Thompson brother and, and keep track of him because he like he the one that's closest. Where is he? He plays for the Rockets. All right. That's very fitting. It's him and Palo. His shot tendency is not even 90. Oh, it is 99. Okay, it is 99. All right, all right. It, 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 it might be him. It might be him. We got we to gotta watch the Rockets because I said it was going to be this season. Through the first week, we see... That things are getting kind of crazy. Any game I see of somebody putting up near 200 points, I will stop and I will look. It might be Iman Thompson. It might be Luka Doncic. It might be uh, blah, 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 Victor Webinyama. It might be some one of them dudes. I, I do. There's a 200 point game. It is Tatum on one side, and okay, okay, but Scoot has 88. Oh my God, let's transition over to Scoot. Scoot has 88 points. What team are you on, Scoot? He is playing for the uh, Golden State Warriors. Okay, Warriors. Let's see what we working with as a squad. It is Giannis and Scoot. But the Giannis is older. He still get to give you a 66 every once in a while. But Scoot had the 80-plus point game. And that was probably this game? Yes, it was this game. Lamelo had 20. Alonzo had 25 assists. Um, and he had a 29 assist game. Somebody did, somebody undoubtedly broke the record for most assists in the game. No way around it. So, okay, we, we focus over here on Mr. Scoot Henderson. 200 point game. Scoot 81, matching Kobe. Stop passing the ball, bro. Get yours. I know you got it in you. Get yours, bro. Yo, I see a 216. I see a 216 to 199 against the Grizzlies here. If there's any time for it to happen, 78 dang anybody else been close it's just been scooter 88 oh man all right well we're almost at the all-star break and 88 is the best we got it can happen it can happen i believe all right y'all comment down below your x account i'll pick somebody in the next 48 hours or so because <sighs> nobody nobody did it nobody it was 88 and we move you know uh you know i thought there was gonna be I think I thought that was going to be it. Now, Scoot did go on to win the MVP award, so he was the right guy. 
but he wasn't the guy to drop 100. Now I gotta think about it maybe a little bit more strategically by doing, <laughs> going over to this, um, and, and maybe looking through if there's any other stat that I think could help that happen. I mean, the pace stat has to matter. Faster pace, more shots, more makes, right? That's how I feel. Adjust the effect of team pace on the number of possessions in the game. Uh, but adjust the effects of fast break tendency. I don't know which one makes the most sense. I could do the overall shots one related. It says uh, possessions resulting in a shot. Put that one. That's that's the one I'm going with. That's the one I'm going with. All right. Is that the right move? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, because with suitcase sim speed and the amount of years we have in it already, almost been a decade at this point. I need some success. Somehow there still were uh, f uh, 50, 40 turnovers between the two teams. 40 plus turnovers between the two teams. So so does that mean the teams were ending in more shots? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. What would what were the turnover like before that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Alright. Um I'm I'm all this is all new to me. 83 points for Anthony Edwards this season, so that's fun. Maybe you should look at the Wizards. A 200 point game. 71. This is so crazy. To 71. Does the NBA average NBA player max out at 71 points in a game? That's that's kind of what we're learning right now. That's what's happening. Okay, matter of fact, let's let's take a step back. Let's game plan. Let's game plan because because I get to the to this point, and that's kind of the way it is, right? And I just make the decision in that time. Eighty three points is what Anthony Edwards is at right now. I said I can make one change, right? What if that one? Oh, Lucas old now. We still could drop a seventy piece. What if that one change is trading away? the second best score for Luka Doncic's team. So it is just him. What if that change is saying, hey, Luka, you're always oh, three point tendency is already almost 100. So never mind. It's not that much, much of a change. Maybe we shouldn't prior. Maybe it's Wimby. Wimby has been close a few different times. We could go back to, to Shea. I, I know I vow to not do individual players anymore, but it feels like the smartest thing to do to go after like a Wimby and tell Wimby, I don't know what his three point tendency is right now. It's a 96. Never mind. It's going to tell him that to shoot more threes, but that's just not going to be the case. Or maybe we go to the Pistons and we say, hey, um, Mikael Walgreen, you can't score this season. Sorry. You, you can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it feels like it's never going to end at this point. Oh, my God. 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 Okay. Okay. There's a guy by the name of Captain America. Captain America at this point is 30 years old, playing for this little old Washington Wizards team, which is the exact formula that I mentioned earlier with it being one player on a team that's maybe not that good. Captain America on the season is averaging 53 points per game. 53. And last month, when they were playing against the Philadelphia 76ers, they won a shootout that was 175 to 174. And in this game, Luka dropped 52, 13, and 9. A typical Luka Doncic game. They also had uh, R. Reed, Ricky Reed, put up 50, I'm sorry, put up 33 and 10. But on the other side, Cap said, I am going to drop 108 points. It is done. And the guy is Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards just dropped 108 points. Points in an NBA game. Took 56, 59 shots, 21 threes to get there. Only six assists. He said, pass. Who is that? I don't know nothing about nobody named pass. And and now it's got me thinking, has he even been has he been close other than that? We got some 60s in here. He went from 108 to 64 to nine points in nine minutes. He just he just fouled out. <laughs> he said, I'm tired, bro. Whoa! He also had an 83 and 81 of some 70s. He was primed to make it happen. And it was Anthony Edwards. Let's go, man. I'm gonna finish the season. I don't know. Maybe he get another. Maybe somebody else get it. But we did it, man. It just took a, 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 a 10 seasons worth of simulation, basically. But Anthony Edwards is the guy. I don't know who to expect. I honestly went into it thinking it was gonna be Luka Doncic or even Tatum, who we haven't heard anything about this whole video. Uh, but it was Anthony Edwards at the age of 30. Ooh, that's crazy. Keontae George is the MVP of the league. Shout out to him. Um, Big Brian Reeves. 
Oh, it's a different guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. What a, what a video. What a time. Now what we can do is go through league history. Go to NBA records and see that that 108 is the only time somebody's dropped 100. Keontae George had an 87 a few years. Or this, he just did that. Okay, he just did that in his MVP season. Uh, he did that in 85 overall. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Total points in a single game. Field goals made in a single game. He broke that. Three points made in a single game. That's Keontae George. And he's... Keontae George is killing Steph Curry's record of threes in, in that career. 100%. Free throws made. Shaden Sharp ended up breaking that with Anthony Davis in real life. Huh. I don't remember that game. I do not remember that game. In October. That was the start of the year. Huh. Either way, rebounds. Nobody's getting that. Um, oh, Lonzo was one assist. Josh Giddy one assist away. I'm sorry, two assists away for Giddy to tying um, Scott Skiles. So he still holds that record. Blocks, nobody's breaking some of these records. Uh, steals, nobody's breaking that. Minutes, nah. Turnovers. Uh, yeah, Steph Curry had a 14 turnover game. Oh, man. Oh, man, Steph Curry. And a playoff game, Anthony Everett had an 80 piece. You feel me? These are all going to be current. Yeah, these are all going to be current stats. Keontae George is just a sniper. Hold on. I ain't expecting to be that good. All-time three-pointers. I said Keontae George is going to catch him. I don't think so, brother. Keontae George is 14th. And Steph Curry has 7,300. 7, 7, Nobody catching that man. Ha. Nobody's catching that man. All right. Well, it took about a decade. But the man to hold the number of 108 is Anthony Edwards, man. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.